and welcome back to Beauty Desk Tuesdays. Here's what we have coming up for you today. First up, we have a serum which is meant to be really great for delicate skin. It's a Sentiel Vitality Serum. Now, the formulation of it helps boost collagen production, which smooths out fine lines, plumps up the skin, but because of this formulation as well, it strengthens the skin barrier. So if you have delicate skin, it would actually help your skin feel a bit more stronger and a little smoother over time. And it's quite a nice formula. And I say you only need like maybe two or three drops and you only meant to use it in the morning. So you can either apply it to your skin underneath your moisturizer or you can maybe mix in a couple of drops with your moisturizer if you want to have a quick sort of um, application and it absorbs into the skin really really quickly and if you watched our tutorial with um, Charlotte Tilbury um, then you would see that Amber who is one of the Charlotte Tilbury's um, leading experts she sort of showed us how to apply the serum you kind of do a few drops into your fingertips and then you kind of start applying it around your skin so then you kind of give yourself a little massage which helps the um, formula and all the ingredients work a lot better for your skin so make sure to check that out next up we've got a super duper hydrating mask from lancer this is the nourish rehydration mask and it is got with uh, biopeptide and vitamin b3 so this is what you need if you have dull skin if you feel like your complexion is looking tight and you just want to give it that burst of moisture um, and it also kind of that moisture will also help sort of refine any fine lines you might have any first signs of wrinkles it makes your skin feel a lot more fresher and the great thing about it is that all you do is when you apply a thick layer to your skin make sure it's quite a generous layer of it because you really want to soak everything up from this mask then you leave it on for about 15 and 20 minutes and then you don't wash it off what you do is just sort of grab a tissue and you blot off any excess and then if you want a real kind of deeper burst of hydration now what you do is you apply it overnight so maybe don't go as thick but apply like a visible layer onto your skin and then just let your um, skin soak it up overnight and then wake up with a really fresh and hydrated complexion I'm really getting into hair oils, especially those that help strengthen the hair, add a bit of shine and tackle that kind of humidity frizz that I'm literally battling every summer in Dubai. So this is the Daviness Oi Oil and all you need to do is use about one or two pumps of it because it's, it kind of distributes really well and it's not a sticky oil it's quite it's got quite a nice drying feel and all you do is you can either use it as a pre-styling product so damp hair run it through middle to ends and then go on with your styling or you can use it as a finishing oil so again you just warm it between your hands and then go from middle to ends smoothing anything out that you might have after styling and hopefully you might not need to use any more heat after so if you blow dry it go in with a bit of oil but maybe that will help you avoid using any straighteners or anything like that to keep your hair in place. I'm a huge fan of hair mist, especially because I don't want to have to wash my hair every day. I try and do it every other day. I know a lot of people can even wash it every two or even three days. Um, but if you want to have that really kind of fresh smell, then a hair mist is absolutely amazing for that. So we've got the uh, Frederick Mal Lipstick Rose. Now this is just a slightly lighter version of the actual fragrance lipstick rose and the reason I love Frederick Mal hair mist is because when you spray it, the spray itself distributes so evenly so you don't get like these kind of parts where you know your hair might feel a bit wetter from the spray. So when you spray it just above your head or even if you throw your hair forward and then do it underneath, it distributes really evenly and you get this really gentle fragrance and lipstick rose literally smells like a beautiful glamorous Hollywood style lipstick how you imagine it so it's obviously got the scent of rose but you've got grapefruit violet you've got raspberry you've got iris and you've got this really soft gentle vanilla and then it feels really rounded because of the white musk next up we've got the brand new fragrance from Byredo it's a new unisex scent for 2020 and it's called Lil Fleur 
and it is inspired by kind of that youthful moments um, in your life where you sort of have this careless kind of amazing time where you don't even think about anything that's kind of going on in the world. Um, so the scent itself is got that really gorgeous damask rose um, center, but then you also have some saffron and tangerine that kind of give it a little bit of brightness. And then that kind of leather is um, in the middle too, which gives it a little bit more depth. And like the scent itself, it's it literally smells like, you know, when you get a really fresh uh, bouquet of roses, like the young roses that smell really, really lovely and light, but at the same time, you do have that depth um, from this kind of woody notes, that leather, and also a little bit of vanilla.